Hello everyone. So we are going to introduce you to our general warm-up sequence. Ryan will be guiding you along, but we are going to start in a quadruped position. The only thing you'd need is either a, a mat or some kind of soft surface like a carpeted area, or you can use a towel. Uh, the bath towel is fine. I'm going to get into the quadruped position and Ryan is going to take over. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do from the quadruped position is mobilize the spine with a three repetitions of cat and camel. So she's just breathing in and breathing out. And she's trying to roll right through the upper back there. As she goes through her three reps. From there, she's going to bring her knees together. And she's going to do some rocks from the hips. And she's going side to side for these ones. And for you guys at home, if you can bring your hips all the way to the ground, great. If you can't, don't worry about it. We're not trying to force anything, just feeling out a little bit of a stretch. So she's done about three reps to each side there. So the next thing she's going to do is same position, but sit back towards her heels. We're looking at a child's pose here, and then she's going to rock all the way forward, bringing her hips to the ground, trying to keep those arms straight, and she's just going to move back and forth between those positions. And she's still breathing through these, and I usually recommend that you guys breathe through these as well. So after a few reps here, she's just going to bring her knees a little bit wider. Right now we're looking for about the width you would be in for a um, squat is about how wide you want your knees. And then just to get a little deeper in the groin, we're going to bring the knees even further apart here and continue that same motion. You'll find here your hips are not going to make it all the way to the ground. That is okay. After about three of those, she'll bring her knees back to about the squat position and she's going to put one leg out to the side and this is just going to help get into the adductors so she's still rocking back and rocking forth we'll do about three of these as well and then she's going to do three on the other side and we're just going to avoid kicking the wall for this one <laughs> Great, so after those, Teresa is going to mobilize the shoulders a little bit with a downward dog position uh, and get into the hamstrings as well there. So we're trying to get the head right through the arms and strong shoulders. And from here she's going to do a step through and a reach. And that's just doing a little work on the hips and a little work on the shoulders. And she's going to reach both ways. She'll bring her leg back and then she'll do the same thing on the other side. And she'll get into a downward dog, maybe one more time after this. And then from there, we're going to come into a seated position. So in our seated position, we're going to put the hands behind you, still keeping those shoulders strong. And we're just rocking the knees side to side, doing some knee drops getting some internal and external rotation at the hips. And you should find this is mobilizing your joints, but by now, hopefully, heart rate's getting up just lightly. Shouldn't be too tough, but definitely feeling like you're moving a bit. So from there, she's going through our core four movements. Uh, most of you know this series. We're taking a big breath in as we reach out over the midline uh, of the knee. Then she's going to move out over the midline of her thigh. Big breath in as she reaches out, pulls back, chin through the chest. And she's going to do three here. And then she's going to move over one more time and she's going to reach out sort of over the hip now. Big breath in, big breath out. Good. After three there, she'll drop to an elbow, and she's going to do a few, uh, I like to call these corkscrews. Nope, she's doing some reaches first, that's all right. She's doing some 
reaches, swimming right overhead, mobilizing the lats. Maybe now she will do some rotations. There we go. <laughs> so she's just reaching on through and doing some rotations. Uh, and that's letting us get a little bit more mobility in that upper back there. And that's good. And she's just going to do that same stuff on the other side. A couple more knee rocks. And then dropping into the core four. <clears throat> so again, midline of the chest lined up over the midline of the knee. About three times should do it. And then she'll go out over her thigh. And then she's going to go out over her hip. Good. And she will do a big reach overhead. We're really trying to reach for the sky. Really reaching long for this one. We want to make sure you can feel that right in the lats. And we'll finish off with some corkscrews. And that is going to do it for our general warm-up sequence.